Hello everyone, my name is Jason. I am going to be your tour guide for this session as I walk you through our webinar editing tool Vizor 2.0. This video will focus on providing you tips on how to best use Vizor and create state-of-the-art video in no time. First of all, I'd like to teach you how to create a new project. All right, let's begin. I'd like you to click on New Project. There are four possible ways to add a video to your project. You can upload a video from your computer, upload Zoom recording from your Zoom cloud, record your screen to create a video, or use a YouTube video link. You can drag and drop a video here, or click Browse to upload a video. While the video is uploading, please don't refresh or close the page. Otherwise, your upload will automatically be canceled. Once your upload has completed, the Wizard engine will begin to transcribe your video automatically. Please note that only English audio is supported for this feature at the moment. This process will convert all spoken words into text. Once completed, the transcript will appear as subtitles in your video, then you can also trim the video by editing the text. After the transcribing process is completed, Wizard AI Engine will begin to analyze the visual elements of your video and split them into sequence for further layout arrangement. Now the project has been created, we are in the design interface. The design tools are on the left. These are the tools that can help you polish your video. The video monitor and the element pool are on the right. You can adjust visual elements in the monitor and you can find all the Wizard segmented visual elements, subtitles, and the original video elements in the element pool. In the top right corner, please select the layout with the aspect ratio for your video according to your needs. By default, your video will be set to landscape mode. You may just want to polish the appearance with the original ratio. If you want to make it fit for a vertical phone screen, you can click here. Once the video ratio is set, we can start to rearrange the elements. Wizard provides automation for scene division. The video is divided into scenes by our algorithm, which identifies key visual elements such as speaker host and applies a layout. For instance, the video is divided into five different scenes. The first scene contains only one speaker. The second one contains both slides and a speaker. The third one contains a different speaker and slide. If you are not satisfied with the scenes, you can press Enter in the text editor to start a new paragraph. Then, a new scene which corresponds to the new paragraph will be created. The gray line is the divider between the different scenes. You can combine two scenes through backspacing a gray line. Then the later scene would be merged into the previous one. If you want to delete a scene, you could right-click the scene and click Delete to remove it. At the same time, the corresponding video is also removed. In this text editor, you can find the previously transcribed text, and you can edit the video by editing the text. For example, if you delete the text, the corresponding video part would also be cut off. You may notice that there are some gray dots. Gray dots are the break or pause between the spoken words. The gray dots could be deleted to reduce the silent time. As for the visual design, you can adjust it automatically or manually based on your needs for each scene. Let's move to the video monitor on the right side. The different visual elements are already split. You can replace and rearrange them as you want. You can also adjust the size and crop them. If you don't want the element, click on the element and press delete on your keyboard or right click the element and click remove button. The element would disappear from your monitor but you can still find it in the element pool. You can drag and drop it into your video monitor anytime you want. No worry, whatever you do here will not affect the video's timeline. Your visual elements move is always in sync with your video's actual timeline. More importantly, you can click layouts to choose a pre-made layout we made for you. It can give the video a professional look with just one click. If you prefer the original webinar video in a certain scene, you can also drag and drop the original into the video monitor from the elements pool. We have already gone through the main features of Wizard. For now, I am going to show you some additional features, which can help you make the video look more professional. Let's move to the left side. Before we get started, you need to know, all the tools on the left side would only affect the visuals of each scene. All the adjustments you make will only influence the scene you selected. If you find Apply to All Scenes or Apply to All button, you can click it to apply the change to all scenes. 
Sometimes the recording quality is not good enough for the slides, so you may want to upload the slides file to replace the blurry one. In Media tab, you can upload slides in PDF format to Wizard and drag and drop the slides into the video. Similarly, this function also allows you to upload any image to add into your video. In Text tab, you can add a text box to the video. The text you add to the current scene will stay there until the end of this scene. You can use it as a title. In Subtitles tab, you can change the style of the subtitle. In terms of the text itself, you can edit it in the previous text editor by double-clicking the text. After you double-click the text, your editing only affects the subtitle instead of cutting off the video. In Background tab, you can change the background image. You can choose from Wizard's stock image library, or you could upload your own background image. Click Apply to All then all the scene's background images will be replaced by the image you selected. In Logos tab, you can upload your logo and add it to your video. Click the Upload to upload an image file and drag and drop it into your video monitor. Now it will show up in the scene you selected. Find somewhere fit to place it. You can also resize and crop it like other visual elements. If you are not satisfied with your video, you could click Reset button to restore your project to the state right after uploading. When your video is ready to go after the editing, you can click that Export button in the upper right corner. Now, we are finalizing your video. Please wait until the process is completed, then click the Publish or Download button. You can also go back to your workspace and click the Complete button. When the video's processing is finished, it will show up in the Complete page and your video is ready to be downloaded and shared. Congratulations on creating your first video with Fizzard. You have now achieved and learned the basic skills to create state-of-art videos using Fizzard. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to join our Discord community or contact us via email or through our social media channel on Twitter or LinkedIn. Thank you.